Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Saturday, February 8th of 2020. Yesterday's prayer was regarding the Lord speaking to us today. So how do we keep track of those things he is communicating? With the busyness of today's life, it can be so easy to forget the day's instructions, much less the words from previous days. As we meet with the Father each day, why not journal the things that we hear? This creates a permanent record of what was said that can be accessed at any time in the future. Not only does this allow us to become more accountable to the Father, but this can also serve as a memorial stone as we remember just how God has taken care of us through the good times and the difficult ones. So today, this morning's prayer prompts us to journal those things that we hear from the Lord, recording them for future access. Father, when we spend time consistently in our secret place with you, there is an exchange. So how do we maintain and fulfill the things we receive daily from you? Thank you for recording our names when we became born again, for your word says that we are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you for the generations that have preceded ours and their discipline to record your instruction and their actions. Without those faithful saints, we would not have your history and your desires for our lives at our fingertips. Your instruction for us is to write the vision and make it plain, that he may run who reads it. For the things you speak today may not be for this present time. As we meet with you daily, how can we consistently remember all that you have given us through prayer? How can we remember your many blessings if they're not committed to paper? Help us, Father, to encourage us to commit daily to those ideas, instructions, corrections, visions and dreams, songs, whatever it is that you've given us, committing them to our remembrance by journaling them. Through journaling daily, Father, your words can be accurately revisited and birthed into being through our prayers, petitions, and supplications. Father, Thank you for the faithful people of generations before us that have recorded your word. Without them, we would not have your holy scriptures today. May we be faithful to record your instructions just as you have given them to us. Let us be accurate and forthright in keeping them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.